Hello, my name is Eric Bach, and welcome to another session of Techniques, brought to you by NEI. In today's session, we'll cover how to set up the integrated laser on the Trimble Geo7X and perform offsets in TerraSync version 5.80. First thing we need to do is go to the Start menu, and we're going to go to Settings, and we need to go to the System folder, and in here there are two things we need to set up the first time you run this. One is make sure the laser is connected to the bottom and then we're going to do the laser alignment and we're going to click on begin. You're going to want to be about 8 to 10 feet from a white wall or light colored wall and the, what we're doing here is the camera and the laser are aligning one another. Once it's aligned it'll be successful. We'll just hit OK. Here we go. So I'm going to hit OK second thing to do is in the same systems folder is we're going to scroll down to the sensor calibration. Now the sensor needs to be calibrated anytime you move to a new location, anytime the sensor is not acting properly, anytime the weather changes pretty drastically. Um, we have a separate presentation on that that we can pass along. Um, we recommend you do the full calibration However, since I'm inside and I need to be able to show you this quickly, I'm just going to select on fast calibration. And what this is going to require me to do is spin the device in all these different directions. It's quite loud. So we'll spin this around until my sensor is calibrated. Alright, everything's set up, so I'm going to exit out. Now my home screen has the TerraSync button programmed on that already, so I'm just going to click on and open TerraSync. I'm going to start off with my proper version. I think I'm using centimeter. And what we're going to do is click on the status menu and go to setup. And we're going to go down to the bottom where it says external sensors. Now we need to make sure the laser is set up properly so we'll go to properties and the laser should automatically be configured to COM6 if it's not make sure you have COM6 selected and the baud rate will always be 4800. I'm going to click on done. You need to make sure this box is checked next to laser and we're going to click on done again. Now I'm going to go from setup to data and I am going to create a data file just using the Trimble generic data dictionary. And I usually start off by going to options and I have log later selected. That way it won't start logging the GPS position until I'm ready. In order to make this work, you click on point generic or whatever feature you want to point feature you want to do the offset on. You'll click on options until it offset. And we have several choices here. The most common and what we're going to use right now is distance bearing. I'm going to click on that and it's going to bring me up with my distance bearing information. I'm going to click on the center button of the GPS. It's going to activate the rangefinder module and I'm going to point and click on an object. I'm going to shoot this tree outside. Uh, before we do that you need to make sure that your mode is set up properly. On the top right we have some settings here. We have these workflows. Anytime we're doing distance offsets, we want to click on the offset window, and then I'm going to point at my object, I'm going to hit fire. It gives me my distance. I hit the checkbox to store the offset. I click on done. I make sure to log my GPS position. Since I'm inside, I'm not able to log. I'm going to hit done, and that's how we do our offset. This concludes today's technique session. Please visit neigps.com for more videos, FAQs, and information on upcoming trainings. Thank you and have a great day.